Welcome to Business Talk here on Business Tech, South Africa's number one business news website with over 3 million unique visitors every month. And it's time to talk about value-added services in banking. And I want to take you back a few months. March this year, Apple releases a new version of iOS 15.4. And it's important for a couple of reasons. One, being security updates, which obviously need to stay up to date, no excuses. But two, Apple introduces a possibility to unlock the phone without the need of removing your face mark. Uh, and why, why is this important? Well, I think everyone is using Apple wallets on a daily basis will know that you're standing at a checkout facing your phone, you're double tapping the side button to pay, and your phone is forcing you to type your code in. So you're doing it standing there and blocking the line and you're irritating everyone else behind you. Now, if you take a, a few steps back, how did we end up here? Why are you using your phone for paying instead of a good old plastic card with a pin code, especially when having to wear a face mask while shopping? Well, it really is. It's talking about this future of payments and inter-value added services. It's just an example, but the fact is that the banking industry is changing in the blink of an eye. Fintechs are challenging the banks that are adjusting their offers in response, providing new services to their customers, commonly known as value-added services or VAS. And uh, it's a great pleasure to welcome Sibosiso Kamalo, who's Chief Marketing Officer at African Bank, as African Bank launches its own new tech deal offering in the local market. So, Sabu, welcome. Could you just unpack what this tech deal offering is all about from African Bank? How's it, Michael? Thanks for having me. Um, yeah, so we've entered we've entered the the market as well. So basically, Tech Deals is an offering for customers where they can uh, purchase devices that come with an option of either taking it with the data uh, and uh, airtime package or just taking it as a device only. And there's a range of devices that we have uh, on offer. So we launched two two uh, offerings. One is the tech deals, which is the devices, but then we added tech credit because it was important to also provide a vehicle for customers to acquire the devices because mm -hmm. we know that some of the devices on the market are quite pricey. Yeah, absolutely. Especially if you're talking about those Apple devices that I referenced in my introduction more than a laptop. Now, as a bank offering tech deals to your customers, what extra value are you offering to those customers through this particular offering? I think what um, we realized, uh, Michael, is that a lot of our customers um, are, you know, technology and cell phones particularly are really becoming, you know, an instrument that one cannot live without. So as our customers have kids that are going to school and they're entering different grades or going to varsity, they need to acquire laptops for them. They need to acquire uh, mobile devices, they need data, they need airtime, they need connectivity because it's now become a tool for school or for work or for home and play at home. So we are making this accessible to our customers. But more than anything, we're also trying to make it extremely affordable for the customers to acquire these devices. So when you when uh, so for us it's about making it's about almost creating the accessibility of the product for a market that we know um, sometimes has to pay quite a lot of money just to yeah. for, for data and for airtime and for the devices and for the financing of the devices. So using our relationships, we were able to negotiate prices on the devices. And on top of that, we're able to come up with an innovative product that allows our customers to purchase it on credit um, uh, without um, having to worry about that upfront cost that usually mm -hmm. is a barrier to entry for a lot of people. So really the value add is in the ability to walk into any one of our stores and say, I'm looking for a laptop for my child who's going to university and we're able to assist you. And, you know, we often talk about financial inclusion and, and listening to you explain what you're doing here, what concerns me is also uh, digital inclusion. Because I think in, in South Africa yeah. in particular, and to your point, you know, many people may even have the latest device, but uh, maybe can't afford uh, some of the data costs as well. So you're still excluding them unless you try and bring those barriers down and make it inclusive. So I just want to understand from that perspective that, it, I mean, it's clearly you're buying devices here, but can, can you, are there network packages that go along with this too? How does it all work? Yes. So, I mean, that's really is a, a key challenge that we are addressing with our offering 
the fact that, you know, to a large extent, technology is still a very premium service that is exclusive and not necessarily accessible to every person and every corner, uh, in every corner of the, of the country. So through our networks, uh, through our partnerships, we're able to offer a different range of devices. These devices come from the low end to mid and some upper. Uh, we've negotiated the prices, we can finance them, and we deliver them directly to the home. So, so uh, what we've done, because we do understand that some customers want the device and they want to get a data package uh, mm -hmm. and an airtime package. So we've got a relationship uh, with one of the network providers that has provided us uh, with packages that we can sell with the devices. So they'll get a SIM card, they'll get the data on a monthly basis and they'll get the airtime. They've got an option to choose what suits their pockets and their needs, and uh, we'll be able to package that together for them. Um, the advantage really is the fact that you're gonna be getting uh, data and airtime that has been negotiated. So it's not what you would typically uh, pay if you are to walk into any store. We've leveraged the relationships that we've had uh, with our service providers to negotiate good prices for our customers. And it really is about advancing people. Um, we understand that even with banking, day-to-day -day banking, a lot of our customers are doing the banking on their mobile devices. But we'll never achieve our aspirations of digitization unless we actually put the device in the hand of the customers and we give them the fuel to be able to be connected. So yeah. for us, we're not seeing uh, technology and connectivity and banking as two separate things. We're saying yeah. these worlds have, have, have emerged and they've emerged a long time ago. And it's just that it's been something that has been exclusive to a certain demographic, but now we're able to give this to all our customers. Yeah, and to me, that, that is the key and unlocking the potential that lies in digital banking, but also in digital technology broadly. And it, it, it amazes me how often over the last year in particular, I've interacted with a small vendor uh, who's got their own small business on the side of the street, and, and they're doing everything on their phone. Uh, they're transacting, yes. they're taking payments, they, they're managing a small business from their handheld device. But, you know, how do we unlock that? How do we make it accessible? It really is in addressing this side of the equation. So it's really interesting to see African Bank playing here with your with your reach and your relationships as well. Now, you, you offer a 12% loan, as I understand it, over 24 months to, to your tech deal customers. How does that compare yes. to buying tech devices on credit from other parties in the market? You know, we always... We always encourage our customers uh, to shop for the best uh, product at the best price that suits their needs. So what we did is when we did our research, we realized that um, there's been a shift from offering 24 month contracts typically mm -hmm. to now offering 36 months and sometimes even longer. But when you look at the lifespan of a device and you look at uh, the the, the, the tenure of the, the credits that you're being offered to acquire the device. We think that um, uh, we still need to give the device to a customer, but we can't have a customer spend three years paying off that device because by the time mm -hmm. that three years uh, comes, the device will be obsolete. They'll probably yeah. need a, uh, to upgrade. So what we did is we said, let's keep it at 24 months and uh, we test and learn because we think that's in the best interest uh, of the customer. Then secondly, we say the customer needs the device, but we can't charge exorbitant interest. So we capped our interest at 12% because it's really about giving the customer the benefit of having the tool that they could use to do their banking. We also win because when our customers have a mobile device that they're able to do the banking themselves, then they can start to use our self-service offerings. That lowers the cost of doing business uh, with the customer because we don't have our customers coming to our branches saying they want a statement, coming to our branches yeah. and they would like to apply for a credit card. They can easily do that from the comfort of their home on their device using our banking app. So it's a win-win. 
And that's what we're trying to achieve through this uh, new offering that we put into the market. Absolutely. And often people say, well, what's the catch? Well, there is no catch because of that win-win scenario that you paint out, very much like a shared value business model. Uh, Wendy, and you mentioned that you deliver to the home. And I haven't got a device in a couple of years, but my last experience, uh, it certainly wasn't uh, the most simple process. I spent a couple of hours. I mean, it can be a complex, time-consuming thing, getting phones and registered. How is African Bank trying to make this process a little simpler and faster? So we are using uh, we are using providers that are very experienced in this uh, in this business of uh, tech and delivery. So as soon as the customer has applied for the device, they've been approved for the credit, we're able to immediately start the process of fulfilling uh, that order. Uh, we pride on the fact that we have devices in the customer's hands within three days. In most cases, we continue to make sure that we, are, we have the right contacts. Uh, I think the starting point, Michael, is to understand that this is an offering for existing customers. You have to be an African bank customer. And if you're an African bank customer, we know you, we know your number and we know where you live yeah. because we've got the processes, we've got the data, or we've got the information. So it makes it easier for us to get into this line of business and to able to fulfill uh, the service for the customers because we already have an existing relationship. So it's it's... It's something that um, for us, we feel is um, something we can do, something that we are proud of, that the customers, we can take the device to their, to their offices. And within three days, you can be connected. Fantastic. Uh, it makes sense. You know, there's so many synergies to your earlier point. You really understand all of that. Uh, know your customer, Fika, Rika data. I mean, that's what banks are really good at. Absolutely. Uh, it obviously just thinking through the way you've gone about this, you've you've been truly intentional about placing the customer at the center of this, and it's very customer centric. Uh, why, why is customer centricity so important to African Bank from a strategic perspective? Customer centricity should be important for anyone who's in business, whether you're a taxi yeah. operator or you are Apple or you are Microsoft, and it's at the heart of what we do at African Bank. Um, our customers come to us because they have a need. And if we're not going to fulfill that need for that customer, then we'll be failing as a business. So we are constantly looking at uh, understanding our customers, understanding our customer needs, looking at the relationships we have with our customers, the journeys in all our products that our customers go through and perfecting them. So this is never a destination we arrive at. This is a pursuit that really drives us every single day in everything that we do, from the CEO right down to the service consultant in the branch. We want our customers to be different the minute they start banking with us. We want their lives to advance. We want to see meaningful change. We want to see them flourish. We want to understand, we already understand that they have aspirations. We already understand that there's things that they want to do for themselves, for their families, for their communities. And we want to partner with them to be able to, uh, through the services that we provide, to be able to make that a reality. And Sabu, I've got to say, that is coming through in the African bank numbers. It has been a standout success emerging, uh, you know, from uh, what happened uh, through the curatorship and looking at the interest rates that one can get at African bank, the best in the market. But how, how can our viewers get their hands on one of these great tech deals? So you can contact us through our contact center. You can go online and you can also visit our branch. We've got more than 400 branches across the country, which is a great thing because it doesn't matter whether you're sitting in Butterworth or in Midrand. We can, mm -hmm. You can walk into any of our branches and say, I've heard about tech deals um, and I would like to, uh, to find out more and I would like to get myself a device. I must emphasize that this is an offer exclusive for our customers. So you have to be an existing African bank customer, but we can easily sign you up. We have over 60,000 people a month that are opening African bank accounts. And that alone is testament that people are seeing what we're offering. 
they are taking up the offer and that they're experiencing real value from the bank. Fantastic. It's all about those value-added services. As I said in my introduction, Sabu Kamala, Chief Marketing Officer at African Bank, it's been a great pleasure talking a little bit more about how you are placing the customer at the center of everything you're doing now, bridging finance and tech through these great new tech deals. Thanks for your time. Thank you so much, Michael.